Oracle Retail Merchandising System version 16 has the improved benefit of utilizing role-based dashboards to ease the many challenges of the end user. The different dashboards organize tasks and information in an intuitive and user-friendly way. These dashboards will help the end user find the data they are looking for and interpret this data more quickly for timely decisions and increased results. In this video, we will show the built-in dashboard functionality for the Buyer, Data Steward, and Inventory Analyst. The Buyer dashboard is based on the Buyer role, which is focused on managing sales and margin performance to plan. Within RMS, this user's key areas of responsibility include monitoring sales and open to buy and PO approval. There are four reports included with this dashboard, sales, early and late shipments, open to buy, and orders pending approval. The sales report shows the top 10 items based on either sales value or margin for the day or week to date based on the criteria entered in the filter. It provides the buyer with the ability to have a quick view of their sales for the day when opening RMS to begin work. The early and late shipments report shows orders where the delivery window, as defined by the not before and not after dates, is in the next eight weeks and has potential issues, such as an ASN not being received when expected, or an ASN that indicates a shipment will arrive outside the delivery window. The orders pending approval report highlights orders that need to be reviewed by the buyer for approval and meet the filter criteria entered. The report can be configured to show only orders in submitted status or both worksheet and submitted status. The Data Steward dashboard is intended to be used by a data steward who is responsible for maintaining data standards and accuracy of foundation and item data. This dashboard focuses on timeliness and completeness of data setup. This report introduces workflow into the item creation process by providing visibility to what item-related data has been set up for new items and what still requires setup. It displays items that satisfied the defined criteria and were created within a configurable number of days, but still have some attributes to be defined. The report shows the list of items in a table with various columns showing details related to item and completion status of item attributes. For each item, a Harvey ball shows the completion status for both the individual attributes for the item, as well as the total item. For transaction level items, all attributes are either complete or not, depending on whether data has been entered for the item. The Inventory Analyst dashboard is based on the Inventory Analyst role, which is focused on managing inventory levels across locations that are linked with the retailer. There are three reports included in this dashboard order alerts, inventory variance to forecast, and negative inventory. Order alert collection of reports monitors for common ordering issues based on orders that meet the filter criteria entered. The order issues that are tracked in this report are, past not after date shows orders that are one to seven days past their not after date and are still open. Orders to close shows open orders that are one to seven days from their not after date, which are not fully received and have no open shipments against them. Never approved shows orders that have never been approved, but which based on supplier lead times and not after dates should be approved in the next week in order to be received in the delivery window. Once approved shows orders that were once approved, but now are in worksheet or submitted status, and which based on supplier lead times and not after dates, should be approved in the next week to be received without issues in the delivery window. Missing order data shows orders that are due to arrive in the next four weeks, but are missing certain attributes at the order header level. Missing item data shows orders that are due to arrive in the next four weeks, but are missing certain item level attributes on the order, such as reference numbers or HTS classifications, or have items with a low margin. The negative inventory report shows item location combinations with negative inventory balances in order to alert the retailer to take necessary action. 
The report shows only those item locations with inventory values less than their configured inventory variance number of units from zero. QuickBorn's highly experienced merchandising solution, consulting, and service practice provides implementation, integration, and support services for Oracle Retail Merchandising Operations Management Solution.